Hello and welcome. In the last video, we talked about the structure of an application. A front end made up out of pages and your back end made up out of your data model and actions. In the Bettingblocks platform, you can find these three segments to create an application. The page builder, where you can create and customize your pages. The data model, where you can create the basis of your application holding your application's data and the action segment, where you can create actions to enable logic in your application. These items are required to set up a front end and a back end for your application and work together to do so. So right now, we're going to cover what these layers look like in Bettyblocks and how exactly they work together. The Bettyblocks page builder can be found by clicking on the page icon in the menu on your left hand side. Using the page builder, you can design the user interface for your application. You can do this by dragging and dropping page components onto an empty page. Once the design part of your interface is done, you can connect the page to your data model or actions. Your page can use a data model to display data on a page. This can be in the shape of a data table listing all the projects that you're working on or a profile page displaying all the user information. An example would be your Facebook or your Instagram page. It displays all the data that you, as a user, have put up there. The Bettyblocks data model itself can be found by clicking on the data model icon in the menu on your left hand side. A data model is a visualized, simplified representation of information stored inside an application. An example would be, I would like to save some information about projects. For this, I will create a project model. This project model has properties describing the features of a project, for example, a name and a status. This data can then be displayed on a page or changed with the use of actions. The Bettyblocks actions can be found by clicking on the action icon in the menu on the left hand side and can help you make your application do tasks. In the action builder, you can build these logical flows by using the drag and drop interface. Your page can use actions to trigger a logical flow of events. This means that whenever you or a user on your page does something, for example, press a button, an action is triggered and a flow of events starts. An example of this would be, I fill in some information, press the sign up button on a website, and I will receive an email saying I have signed up. Actions almost always work together with your data model. Whenever a button is clicked, data might need to change or an email needs to be sent. The action then talks to your data model to let it know that a data change is requested or uses the user's information to send an email on their behalf. Of course, all according to the way you have created the action. So now you know that pages, the data model and actions all work together as three layers that create your Betty cake or your application. <laughs> there are more features within the Bettyblocks platform to extend your application. But for now, these three layers are the most important ones to build your application within the platform. So the next question would be, how do you go on about building an application? What steps do you need to take to get to a working application? For those layers, have a look at the next video about the Bettyblocks application development flow.